the biggest hurdle if you have if you want to develop your english communication and i'm sure all of you will agree with me that is discipline and this is the main point i mean this is the crux this is the the main factor the foundation of developing any communication skills any kind of it can be public speaking it can be one to one talk it can be english communication group discussion anything well and here is a person few years before i was zero in discipline zero in discipline i couldn't control myself i was kind of junky i couldn't focus on studies i was distracted due to tv and internet and today here i'm in front of you talking about discipline how well is possible yeah it's possible the tips which i'm going to give you these are not from any uh, another video or from any book this is my personal experience when i started to shoot this video it took me only 2 minutes to set the camera my microphone and start no preparation no script the reason is i don't need to cram anything i will give you a one simple tip only one tip to discipline yourself so that you can speak fluently and confidently only one simple tip that changed my entire life not only my communication my life why i'm saying life because discipline is not only for english discipline uh, just it percolates in every area of your life everything it percolates and that is what i have experienced now i'm more fitter now i'm more uh, disciplined in my savings now i'm more disciplined in making these videos i'm more disciplined in my podcast i'm more disciplined in writing my book i'm more disciplined in taking my online sessions offline sessions i'm everywhere disciplined because attitudes don't care where they shape once they shape they become part of your life and this is what happened many of you want to speak fluently and confidently and you are studying grammar no use don't do that i have said many times but still i have to say because if you are a new and if you don't know about this that's the reason why i'm telling you you need to change your lifestyle you need to change your habits you need to consume more english consume more english take more english take and out it's 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 we can call it as inward flow and outward flow english should flow inward by reading and by listening and outward is speaking and writing but this is not going to be that easy because we are not disciplined open a book and see what happens you start yawning and 10 15 minutes you close the book shut the book all the words are new they're staring at you it is better to shut and sleep have you done that listen to a podcast i tell you what happens after 2 3 minutes your mind is diverted and maybe after a uh, Two days, three days, four days. You stop the podcast. Go back to listening to music or funny jokes. When it comes to speaking, I already have told you: if you don't speak, your English will not improve. You speak with your friend for one day or two day, and then it stops. We say that no, no, I can, I can do it. I can do with my friend. I can do with my spouse, with my brother or sister. I can do at my home. You try for two, three days, and it stops. So all these things which you start to develop your English communication, your fluency, your confidence, they continue for two, three days, ten, fifteen days, and then stop. And you are just watching videos after videos, finding out the secret, so-called secret of English fluency. It's not there. Why? Because you don't have the discipline. What is discipline? Your ability to do that, make you do that which you don't like to do, don't want to do. Like all these things I told you: reading, listening, vocabulary development, speaking, and all. Now, how I did this? How I changed myself? One simple tip, as I said before, I'll give you. what i did is this i understood that discipline doesn't work discipline doesn't work what is discipline self control self control doesn't work we can't control ourselves i'll give you one example all of you see here if you go if you go to uh, okay let us take a bakery okay all of you have gone to a bakery when you go to a bakery you plan that okay i will go and buy one bread when you go there what happens through that transparent glass you see all the uh sweets there displayed very attractive nicely placed in front of you and garnished very nicely and you say okay give me one that and give me one that and give me one that and when you come out you are full with two bags your plan was to go and buy one bread and you come out with lot of stuff the same happens things the same thing happens in malls also does it happen in mall you plan to buy two three things and you keep on adding in your trolley the trolley is full you can't push also you have to take another trolley two trolleys are there now and when you come at the counter you shell out instead of 5000 rupees you pay 12000 rupees and you come out with all this unnecessary things this is the problem with discipline 
same thing with english also now what i do is this to develop my english habits to develop my english i don't use the, those self control muscles because they are weak as i just give example if you are in the surrounding where all these cravings are there you will fall into the trap and you will give up like one more example i'll give you if you are surrounded with friends who consume alcohol the chances of getting the addiction are 3 to 4 times more rather than if you stay with friends who are sober what i do is at my strategic locations in my office i keep my books english books they are strategically placed when my laptop is there it is next to that this has helped me immensely whenever i feel like oh i have to read i think my book is there but on the other side those youtube videos are there on my big screen i use laptop what happens they call me like they call you they call me look at this funny video the scariest place in the world the biggest snake the biggest what i do i don't open my youtube channel i don't open if i open i know what happens you will keep on clicking after clicking i don't open the window itself i close the window i close the laptop and i read the book because if i try to if in front of me youtube videos are there funny videos celebrity videos what will happen to me out of curiosity i will think like okay i will go and see what is there for 2 minutes and your time is wasted in 2 minutes instead of reading a book which is there next to me i will do that what i do to discipline myself i do not create in the first place the surrounding where such distractions are there like youtube my instagram my facebook and all the social media accounts they are there in my mobile but i do not touch the mobile mobile is away instead of that whenever i go out i listen to a podcast or audio book if you can see my listening see the graph of my listening my podcast see the graph of listening my audio book you can figure it out so what i'm doing is i i also don't have that self control so what i do is i do not go into a situation where i have to practice my self control i have to test my self control because you can't do that for speaking again i told my wife in my home i speak in english i told my wife no talk in english with me we will talk if i don't force me so we force each other to talk in english now because of that today i have reached my fluency level most of you have this problem that you know what to do for english communication improvement and reading and listening and vocabulary but all these things fall flat when there is distraction i mean instagram and social media and youtube and all those things so the important simple tip is keep these distractions away don't create the surrounding don't keep your mobile phones and all these things around you laptops and youtube on if you keep them on you will just fall in trap cravings they are like a carrot and all the social media will dangle the carrot in front of you hello come 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 see see it's so delicious come and they will steal your time this is the way i discipline myself for example shooting this video it needs a discipline i told myself no other distractions no other work keep everything aside everything blur focus on making this video and i made this video that's all discipline is the single most important thing required to be fluent and confident communicator and i'm not here to lie i'm not here to have that politically correct talk it takes a lot of discipline to develop your communication skill whether you agree or not this is the fact nice talking to you be more disciplined work on your discipline muscles the more you practice discipline the more stronger your discipline is don't create those surroundings around you where you get you fall in trap for example before ending don't keep cake in your fridge don't have it in the first place have an apple there if cake is there you're going to consume it if apple is there you have no other option same thing with english keep books podcast vocabulary notebook and speaking partners around you see your communication it goes to the next level take care bye bye